Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more home, holiday, event, wedding, and DIY decor. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a Candyland theme centerpiece for a fun Christmas event. Here we go. gave up candy and sweets and all of that junk after Thanksgiving. <laughs> so for some reason, Candyland seems so appropriate for me because I can at least look at it and not eat it. So <laughs> it's gonna be fun. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. The very first thing I'm going to do is put my vase together for my candy bouquet. And um, what I'm going to do is wrap it. <laughs> I'm going to be wrapping it to make it look like a candy cane instead of painting it. At first I was going to paint it, but why go through the hard times when you can just wrap it with this beautiful paper from Walmart. And um, as far as my uh, base here, this is a tube, a shipping tube that I got from Michaels and it was about $2.50, probably $2.18. Um, so it, it wasn't more than three bucks, so very cheap and you are going to open it and then you are going to wrap it and I'm gonna show you how. And there it is, nice. The very first candy that I'm going to be making are going to be peppermint candies because to me there is no candy land without peppermint candies. And I'm going to be using three plastic containers from Dollar Tree and this is going to go through three different steps. I'm going to paint it um, with the spray paint first, let it dry and then I'm going to add these stripes with um, acrylic paint and I'm going to add glitter, okay? So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and paint it right now. While I let the containers dry, I'm going to move on to make smaller candies to have a variety of sizes, you know, in a little contrast, uh, which always looks better. And I'm going to be using round plates to make the candies. And um, you're gonna find this in the fancy section of Dollar Tree. Uh, you know, they have the paper plates and these are plastic, okay? So you're gonna find them there. And what I'm going to do is grab two at a time, okay? And I'm going to glue them together as so, like this. And then I'm going to wrap them with foil wrapping paper. And here they are, and they look amazing. And by the way, the blue is not foil, the blue is see-through. So what I have to end up doing uh, was use the opposite side of the pink. The purple one actually has um, silver on the opposite side as well. So you can use either one and just you know wrap it first with that, and then you place the blue right on top. Now I'm going to place the candy on top of the balloon stick. This is a 20 inch balloon stick, so it's not standard size. This is the long one. And since the balloon stick is a little 
little flimsy here. What I'm going to do is place a couple of bamboo sticks through the little hole uh, that you see right there. So it can be a little more solid. Um, you can also buy wooden dowels, the long ones, uh, which they sell individually, so it's gonna cost you more. Uh, and you can paint them in white, or you can buy a bag of these, okay? I already had these, so this is the reason why I'm using it. Uh, because as you know, I like to use what I have. So this is what I have, and I'm gonna make it work. So all you have to do is just grab a bamboo stick and just place it right inside of there. So now I'm just going to add hot glue to the top of the balloon stick, and I'm gonna glue it right on here. So that didn't work. <laughs> I mean, I could make it work, but look how messy it is. You know, I don't want that to look messy, you know, attached to the candy. So um, the reason I wanted to do that was because I wanted to be able to see the front and the back neatly without having the stick um, sit in the back like I'm gonna have to do. So what I'm gonna have to do is place the stick back here uh, because the other way is just not, uh, gonna be neat enough for me. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And there it is, all ready to go. Next, I'm going to pretty much be doing the same with toilet paper cartons. I'm going to be making four of them. So I'm just going to wrap them and tie them up. Now I'm going to be making lollipops out of balloons and I'm going to be wrapping it with shrink wrap, but I'm not going to shrink it uh, with a blow dryer as you're supposed to. I'm just going to place it over and tie it with a ribbon. And it's going to be very easy. You're just going to blow it up. Let me open this up. I think I'm gonna go with red and pink and yellow. That's about right. So just go ahead and tie it up. And then you are going to tie it to the top of the balloon stick. All right, it should look as so. And now I'm just going to put the wrap over it. to use a pencil to draw the shape of the peppermint right on top of my container and I'm just going to freehand it and hope for the best <laughs> all right let's do this okay so I'm sure you can't really see anything here let's see nope all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and start painting with red acrylic paint I'm going to be using Primary Red from Americana. So here is the first coat. I'm gonna let it dry for about 10 minutes, give it a second coat and maybe a third one, I'm not sure. I gotta see how the second coat's gonna look. And then after that, I'm going to add some glitter glue in the color red on the red spots to give it a little pizzazz. So after two coats, I am going to apply glitter. This is actually loose glitter. I was going to apply glitter glue because I couldn't find my glitter, but I found it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some on top, shake it off, and that's gonna be it. All right, so that's gonna be hard to take off. So instead of trying to take them away, I'm going to join them. I'm just going to sprinkle to make it even, just in the areas that are totally white. 
because I am not gonna go through all of that. I wonder why they, st oh, I know. The reason why it stuck to the container is because perhaps the paint, the white paint was still a little wet. Not really, it's been hours. So I'm kind of shocked. Maybe you should give it 24 hours before um, you start throwing glitter all over it. <laughs> It still looks very, very cute. And now I am going to dig a hole with the tip of my hot glue gun. So basically what I'm going to do is smelt through the container since it's plastic um, and where I can push this through. Make it a small one, okay? Cause you want it to be snug. And then carefully open the box. And then you're going to grab the top of the balloon stick and you are going to add some glue right in there. Okay, and then you are going to place it right on top. That's basically is going to secure it so it will stay in place. I'm gonna add some glue in here as well. Okay, so now it's time to put the whole arrangement together, which means I'm going to be placing all of the candy inside of the vase. <laughs> um, so yeah, the first thing I'm going to do though is place some glass gems inside of the vase because this is very light and I need a little, you know, weight to make sure that all of my um, candy don't, you know, fall to the side. And that should be all right. It feels good, heavy enough. Okay, so next I am going to be placing my floral foam inside of my vase so uh, it can help me with getting everything, you know, standing up straight. And I'm gonna have to cut it a bit. Now I'm going to grab my wire cutters and I'm going to start trimming some of this stick on my candy. This is it. This is my Candyland theme centerpiece and it is absolutely fun, colorful, and beautiful. Everything about this centerpiece cries, <laughs> let's have a good time. As you can see, I added shreds to the top of my floral foam to cover that up and it looks great. It actually looks like ice cream, so it goes kind of with the theme of it. <laughs> um, everything about this centerpiece was so easy to make. You're basically getting, you know, some balloons, wrapping them up, some plates, wrapping them up, and then you get a couple of containers and then you get some acrylic paint and you paint them. I mean, the hardest thing about it was placing the glitter over it and that's because it was messy. But other than that, very easy, very affordable, and it looks good. Love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can do it right here, right now. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of my Candyland theme centerpiece. And leave me a comment anyway, because I love to chit chat with you guys all the time. And make sure to share, share, share. Sharing is caring. If you know of a friend or a family member that's having a Christmas party uh, at their church or birthday party or a wedding, you might like that theme. Go ahead and share with them at the end of this video. All right, guys, until next time, bye.